Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be tumbling. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. But I just realized Vorde falls on August the 8th. That's 8-8. Eight, eight. That's like 8-8. Eight, eight. Eat, eat. I don't know. Fun fact, the con believed that Vorde is on 8-8 on eight, eight, as a pun of 8-8. Eight, eight. But, but I've heard that it was actually started by Japanese artists, and the way 8 8 is written in Japanese is pun on the sound of growling stomach mix. Meaning, we have a wonderful cross us cultural or shared pun going on, and if that isn't the coolest shit, then you're simply wrong. That is the coolest. Why is there a war day? That's my question. Seventeen-year-old NASA intern discovers a new planet on his third day. Seventeen-year-old, hey, look at that! Every scientist at NASA, what the heck? I don't get to name the planet. My brother had the idea of calling it Wolftopia, but I think TOI 1338B is sufficient. Why are we naming the planet so boringly now? In our own solar system, we have... Uh, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Neptune, Saturn, Pluto, and now in modern day planet naming, it's let's let's put random numbers and uh, uh, and letters together and just as, as call it a day. Like that isn't fun. That's boring and that's lame and that's really irritating. Also, Wolf Wolftopia is gorgeous, by the way. Wolftopia is nearly the size of Saturn and orbits two stars that closely orbit each other. So yesterday I got home from my best friend's birthday party and 30 seconds later, my sister comes into my room and asks me if I can keep a secret and I said, it depends, and she pulled a freaking cat out from behind her and I was like, I think we can keep this between us. His name is Peanut and he's the country's most precious secret. Well now, 107 people know about this. You had one job. My goodness, I can't believe you let the secret out on Tumblr. Who is she? She's pretty is, is what she is. I really don't like having to do that. Anyway. <sighs> Frogs and cranberries. It must be fall. Frogs and cranberries, 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 it must be fall. Hello? Frogs and cranberries, it must be fall. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is it so much of the repeating stuff? 
Okay. Some people do this thing where they do the long screenshots and then I have to open a new tab to actually read it because it's so small all with the text. Every time I set my advisor to edit a draft of my thesis proposal, I've started adding a different flake meme at the bottom for incentive. Oh, I have to try this voice. Diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease? No. Leeches! Yes. Sexy doctor costume. Nah, not the nurse costume. The plague doctor. 27 and men reveal what makes a woman wife, wife, wife material. 26 morons around me. Me. I like my coffee like I like my plagues. Die or die, dude. You either die of, of the Black Plague or you die of the Black Plague. European slaps rat. This bad boy can fit so much freaking plague in it. Oh my goodness. I'm trying hard to live by cat principles. One, I am glorious above all things. Two, eat when hungry, sleep when sleepy, play when bored. Three, affection is given and received on my terms and only mine. Four, show displeasure clearly. Five, no. Six, demand the things you want. If they aren't given, demand them again but louder this time. Seven, if you are touched when you don't want to be, say so. If they continue to touch you, make them bleed. Agreed. Best thing ever is stories with no timeline where the characters never age and all major events could technically happen within one really crazy wild year. I mean, yeah, but I really like the stories where where our, 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 our time is very much a factor, and you feel it at every episode. Anyway, like after Last Emperor, there is really a, a good for or or exactly that. By the end of the first season, you, you have a very, very clear time I'm, I'm window of how long Aang has. Anyway, which evolution has the best ass in your opinion? You make me sick, Splareon. I can't believe you would ask that. Have some class. I don't get how evolutions have. You know what? Oh, I gotta do the 20s voice for this one. Now, you all know what a propaganda actually is, do you? It's when a bridge person can take a good look at something. This is legitimately the absolute funniest thing anyone has ever added to one of my posts. Thank you for your service. Your blog, if uh... <sighs> born to France in the Glade, forced to guard the royal capital. Stop thinking about glades and cross your cross your glade with mine, boy. A traveler approaches. <sighs> Who goes there? Uh, 
A beautiful elven warrior prince falls gravely ill, but is brought back to life by Hot Dr. Pepper. I'm pretty sure that I read a Lord of the Rings fan self insert fic like this back in 2004. The Elixir of Life. 18 messages. What did I do? Fun fact! It takes 18 messages to send the entirety of the B-movie script. Who knew? Is it more or less feminist to make the world get destroyed by a woman in a novel because, in one hand, it puts a woman into a male-dominated career field, but on the other hand, the world is destroyed by a woman. It's less fit, I and mean, that's because it involves placing women above others. It's not equal. Oh, a well, concern for everyone and sympathy for working class struggles. So the world should get destroyed by a union in my novel then? A union of women! So a lesbian marriage. Yes, why not? Scooby's lineage goes back to the age of myth. His oldest known ancestor, Inky Du, even co in the first known work of fiction. As well as the aforementioned writing block, I also lost my laptop to the canvas raccoon for a bit. And my canvas raccoon, I'm in a literal raccoon that lurks on canvas and is known to pe steal people's things. I got my, lap my laptop back, but it had a lot of scratches and a few bar eight marks. It worked, so we're all good. How the heck? Enough to toxic masculinity. I'm ready for celebrious Mexicanity. I am ready for a social movie that encourages, especially straight it's cis men, to indulge in things that make them more joyful, emotional, healthy, and help them strengthen not core muscles but core capacity communication skills. I cannot stress enough that I have a minor speech impediment and voice to text aside, it was more likely that I said Mexicanity than masculinity. I was not, in fact, act in alluding to the potential healing benefits of being Mexican. I am, however, perfectly content with this post being about that instead. Those good followers are welcome to take over from here. I want to be educated. You know what? It's good to uh, get educated. Stephen Cooper for president. A politician with a fiscal policy I can really get behind. Doesn't work all the time and I hate that. I don't have a trade of thought. I have seven trains on four tracks that narrowly avoid each other when the paths cross. And all the conductors are screaming. Yeah, same. I'm giving up alcohol for a month. Wait, sorry, that didn't come out right. I'm giving up alcohol for a month. At what point do you realize you have too many lizards? You do not. <sighs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. One time I went on a date to the Olive Garden and I ordered the seafood pasta. I opened up one of the tiny mussel oyster things and lo and behold, there's a tiny crab in there. I forgot, I think it's the craziest thing ever. I keep talking to my dead girlfriend about this tiny crab, how hilariously wonderful it is that the little dude crawled in there in the ocean only to become a freaking little part of my pasta. She is very unamused and clearly wants me to shut the hell up about this, this tiny crab and be a normal person. Wow, your girlfriend sounds like she has no per personality. You should probably get... It, it, it like, you should probably eat, eat down for her, honestly. She is 0% excited about the tiny crab. Why? It's awesome. What the heck is her deal? The waitress comes over eventually and is like, 
hey, Asamil. And I'm like, awesome, but you gotta check this out. I found a tiny crab in here. And Waitress freaks out and thinks it's awesome. And she is like, can I take this to trust someone else? And I'm like, hell yeah. So she does. And everyone else that works there thinks it's awesome. Girlfriend's super annoyed. The end. Dump her. I'm with, I'm with this reply. Holy crap. The tiny crab is awesome. Your girlfriend and, and, and needs to lighten up or something. I don't know what her deal is, but this is kind of crappy behavior. Like, it's a tiny crab. How can you not be excited about that? Oh jeez. We will proceed to parade this this round tumbler until the end of time. Good luck. Something something get noobed OP. Post to drink default juice too. Lil Lamau. Found on Reddit. What do you mean found on Reddit? Great container with, with Tumblr is almost fun, but almost but the moment it seeps into other social media it's the horrors. At least it's not Twitter. Dude. There are four sites and everything is on each and every single one of them. And honestly, Twitter is basically dead now, so there's like three sites now. Basically, everything that's on here exists on Reddit, on Tumblr. On YouTube. And maybe on TikTok. And sometimes you get some red things that are from 4chan, which I will never visit because... I'm scared. But like, e everything is on those like five sites. And it's reblogged on those sites and shared through those sites. And no matter what, they will find their way on, on YouTube. I keep telling my boyfriend that we're going to name our son Castle, and he's so mad because he doesn't have a say at all, but he thinks it's a stupid name. He's like, okay, and our daughter will be named fucking Obliet, I guess. I don't know what Obliet is, but yes. Why would you do this? An Imger link. Come on, you are kidding, right? Why did you blame the people reaching for heaven instead of the god who cursed them? Add that one to the list, boys! Even God fears to use it in the unions. Yeah, actually, why would you get mad at people reaching for heaven instead of the god who... Who refuses to let them? Why are you microwaving carbonated drinks? That feels wrong. I don't know. Most people hate it, but I'm also a person that purposely lets Coke go flat because I like it better flat. So me and carbonated drinks have a weird relationship. I feel like that's definitely going to cause absorb explosion, but also, I don't know enough about migrating liquids to prove that. That's fair. That's fair. Probably would explode if I forgot to open it beforehand, which likely will happen eventually. Wait, wait, wait. Are you migrating it in the, the freaking can? Yes. It's only aluminum, right? Oh my freaking goodness. Glass, paper, or ceramic, or glass containers used in microwave cooking because microwave pass through, because microwaves pass through these materials. Also, these containers cannot be heated by microwaves. They can become hot from the heat of the food cooking inside. Some glass containers should not be used in microwave oven because they can be melted by the heat of the food inside. Generally, metal pans or aluminum foil should also not be used in the microwave oven as microwaves are reflected off these materials, causing the food to cook unevenly. 
and possibly damaging the oven. The instructions that come with each microwave oven indicate the kinds of containers to use. They also cover how to test containers to see whether or not they could be used in microwave ovens. Microwaving aluminum specifically is known to cause arcing, which can cause fires. Thick aluminum is fine, but then aluminum like a uh, like aluminum foil, and I assume the edge of an open can is not. On top of that, microwaving liquids can be dangerous as they get hot extremely quickly. Just search microwave aluminum foil on YouTube if you're curious. <laughs> No way! Ah, that would explain the poppin' sound. I assumed that was just my microwave being old. Good to know. I shouldn't do that in the future. <laughs> Only expected 40 notes. Not gonna lie. To all you fuckers saying shit like this, oh Jesus, this is a tea kettle post. Oh gee, that one Shakespeare post this is a tea boiling or water post. This is the same mutual circle. They are mutual in laws. We didn't learn shit. We both from when a friend group gets together to cook. Okay, these people. Are the people who don't have freaking kettles? So they put the stove, so they put a freaking mug on the freaking and stove. They're microwaving freaking aluminum. Why are they so crazy? And the microwaving soda. I'm so, so done. Middle Earth is right next to Wonderland, and Mordor is right next to Whoville, and it's right above a terabit. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite hobbies is thinking about the fricked up impl implications of this fancy world map my parents got me for Christmas. I want this map, actually. It would throw a map. On the left side of the map is Middle Earth, with the Shire and Mortar or Lay Abled. To the direct right of Mortar or is Whoville. Why is Wonderland right above Whoville? I found the full one and it's much more chaotic. Hyrule shook me to my core. Though this world has two kingdoms ruled by uh, kings and by being in a tower. The existence of Oz and Neverland is wild too. Does this mean that there is a real Earth outside of this? Could Wendy hang out in Westeros? <laughs> oh, the fantasy world on map. We have to see this. Okay. Oh my goodness. Westeros, Utopia is a tiny ass island. The living island. Lidsville, Sodar. Uh, Hyrule is way smaller than it actually is. Earth, Sea, Avalon, Dreamlands, Thra, and the Labyrinth, Kadath. I don't know a lot of these. Fantasia, Ruin Valley, Terabithia is. What's Sol Salel? Never Neverland. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's Neverland. Wait. So above Wonderland is Narnia? The heck is Lilliput? Where the wild things are? Dinotopia. Wait, where? Dinotopia implies that dinosaurs are still alive, I think. Someone's Island, Land of the Lost, Lankmar, the one. We have Oz. Here's the Emerald City. It's right to the north of Middle Earth. 
with the Shire and Mordor and Whoville. I can't get over this. This map is crazy. Where was the where was Bruin Valley when the West Esfold fell? I imagine they were dealing with whatever plot uh, happens in Moomin Valley. I don't know. Okay. This is gonna have to be the last one. I almost forgot what I was seeing there. Please load. There is a man in Kenya known as the Hyena Man. He started feeding them to keep them away from livestock, but he eventually gained their trust and has even been led back to their den to eat some of the cubs. Wholesome content. Can we give it up for the Hyena Man? There is a similar story of a man who drives a water truck for a gang reserve on Africa. There is a man and made watering hole he fills up every day and it's like the freaking water tree scene in the Jungle Book. Every creature in the area politely lines up around the pond and waits for him. A lot of the more social animals like baboons or hyenas will greet him. Nobody messes with him or his truck because he is then is escorted by lions or elephants that I kn that know him. Like, do not impede the water guy. What are their names? The hyena man's name is Avis Yusuf Evans. The water man's name is Patrick Kalanzo Omrala. Those are hard to pronounce, and I think I might have just as read a mis a spelling of and as as a part of the name, but whatever. Moose boy. Your yeah, Moose Boy BF just ran into the hood of a moving car in Steven Inville and killed a family of four. It's okay, I told him to do that. And with that, we're ending the video. That was our slash Tumblr. Uh, me tumbling around. If you liked that video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I, like always, have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!